afternoon, a murder investigation is continuing after a woman's body was found in Gateshead. Police found a woman who was in her 50s in a house on Sunderland Road in the early hours of Thursday. A man's been arrested and police are open for anyone with information to come forward. Meanwhile, a man's appearing in court following an incident in Darlington that left a woman and a baby needing hospital treatment. Police were called to a house in Granger Street on Wednesday night. The baby remains in hospital in a stable condition. 32-year-old Benjamin Mills of Fenby Avenue is appearing before Peter Lee magistrates charged with assault, occasioning actual bodily harm and causing grievous bodily harm with intent. The North East is reported to have the second highest number of people reporting long COVID symptoms across England. The regional average is 1% higher than the national rate. The condition leaves people experiencing ongoing health problems after contracting coronavirus. One public health expert we spoke to believes workplaces should be more accommodating to people living with the condition. It would be really good to see, see the condition recognised and I think that recognition might also give employers a basis to kind of think about the policies and practices they, they implement to support their employees as well. The North East Mayor Kim McGuinness has written to Metro bosses telling them to improve the service. Nexus accepts the service has not been good enough and says it's already working on plans to improve. A girl to football now, and there's a new arrival due at the Stadium of Light. 23-year-old striker Wilson Isidore has joined on loan for the season from FC Zenit St. Petersburg. Born in France, he's already well known to the Sunderland boss, having started his career with him at Rennes. The deal includes an option to make the transfer permanent at the end of the season. Meanwhile, Eddie Howe's hoping that rumours of a move for Kieran Trippier prove to be unfounded. Speaking ahead of Newcastle's trip to Bournemouth, on Sunday, he says he's no idea where the stories come from and wants Trippier to stay on Tyneside. He um, had an outstanding first season with us last year, slightly disrupted by injury at the, the end of the campaign. But his leadership skills, his um, ability with the ball, his assist record, everything that he brings to the group, we... That's it. Ross has your winner expert from all the team here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.